Hi family, checking in. I am recuperating nicely. I showered today. This is my second shower. Um, I actually, I wore myself out. Like I got showered and I was gonna film this video and the shower was like, that was it. I was done and I was like, time for a nap. So I took a nap, but now I'm filming it and I'm really excited because I just wanted to check in with you guys. And let you know I am improving. Like, it's, it's slow going. Um, my, obviously my weight's down. Um, but it's, it, it's, it's gonna get there. I, I haven't really been able to tolerate anything besides apple iced tea diet and lifting diet green tea and water um so that's kind of a bummer but we'll see you know if the worst thing is elijah's a pretty cool monkey and i guess i could hang out with him for ever until jesus comes back which isn't that long you guys it's not it's not that long you know, I'm sitting here in bed like I always do, just watching the world go by, watching the craziness by, and I just feel like I was given a front row seat without any of it really just, I can just watch it and not be a part of it. Um, I mean, sure, some of it's gonna, gonna come affect me eventually, I'm not, you know, not hard because I belong to God, but... Sure, I mean some of it's gonna get me. We're gonna we're not free from trials, as we know. Um, we're free from raft. That's gonna be nice. It's gonna be really nice when we're all free from the raft because we know that's coming soon. And when, when we see the things that we're seeing happening in the world, um, pride, and I'm not talking just about gay pride, just pride in general is a killer greed everybody's living for themselves children are turning against their parents to find them completely no respect in the home family and you know it's like they just are the ones that will destroy you the most in this time especially our children especially our children hurts the most and you know but we see these things happening like we know we have talked about before we see the the seasons coming along right we see the the one world government coming into form you guys that that's happening the they're just they just get signed over everything to the who and guys these things are legit and so you know i'm not really good uh, like calculating dates and all that and looking I just look for like the tribulation and what's going on with that and knowing the rapture is that much closer and that's where we are and listening to the Lord just listening to the Lord and following him just living every day like we're, I'm going to be here for the rest of my life knowing I won't and knowing that I'm, you know, I'm basically stocking. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys are too, stocking extra food um, for uh, people. <laughs> My brain is getting tired. I shouldn't keep this short. Um, anyway, so we're getting close. So you guys, I know, and I, I know that there's, we're looking at, some people are looking at June 15th. I'm absolutely excited to watch for that day. Absolutely. be exciting. I watched a really good sermon, um, from Pastor Sandy yesterday, and he was explaining why it has to be this year. And that's exciting, right? Like, I'm not good with all that. Like, I don't know how to do all that. Like, I don't, I know how to, like, listen and learn, but I don't know how to do it. But I do appreciate the people very much who do do all that. And, um, 
I sure hope he's right. That would be so great, you guys. This year. This year. So not even that much longer. When we know it's close. We know it's obviously close. So this year wouldn't be a big surprise whatsoever. Alright, you guys. Let's just keep this short. And we're going to see each other all very, very soon. I know there's a lot of hugs going to go around very soon in the clouds. How wonderful and exciting. And I just, I just want to pray. Um, that's it. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I love you so very much. And you are definitely my everything. And you are getting me through. You've gotten me through some of the hardest storms, Lord. The hardest the rejections of life, Lord. I can remember being a child by myself on the streets and nobody loved me but you. Nobody did. I could have died out there and not one person would have cared, Lord, but you. I would have been with you, but you protected me and it wasn't your will for me to die. But, Lord, that's the way it's always been. It's always been me and you. Now, yeah, you may not be the only one that cares about me anymore, but you're sure the one that loves me the most, Lord, and I sure love you the most. And Lord, I just want to thank you for getting me through this last thing, this one last thing that we got through, and I'm just, I know we're just aching forward and stepping forward, Lord, and just biding our time till you come, and it's not that much longer. And I'm so excited, Lord. I'm so excited to be with you. It's going to be so great all the time. All the time is going to be so great. Lord, we don't have any more of this garbage that's going on everywhere. This just sickening world that we live in, Lord. People, they don't, they don't know you. Even some of the ones that think they do know you, Lord, they don't know you. I mean, there are people out there who know you, Lord, and I'm blessed to be able to call them my brothers and sisters, Lord, but how do I reach the people who think they know you but don't know you, Lord? How do I reach them? How do I reach the people who don't know you at all? Lord, I just, help me reach them. Help me be your, your hands on the ground until we get out of here, Lord. That's all I want. I just want to be your servant. Until we leave. Because I love you so much, Lord. And I would do anything for you. I would. You've always been there for me. And I always want to be there for you, Lord. So if you need me, let me know. And just let me, use me in the best way you can. Lord, I just, I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, you guys. I love you. I love you all so much. I just want to thank you for, you're just all so loving and supportive. And I really am blessed to, to know a group of people who love the Lord as much as I do. And just could care less about this world and everything in it. I just appreciate you guys so very much. And this world would be a whole lot darker without walking through it with you guys. And so... I just want to say I love you, and I'll see you guys in the clouds or in the next one.